On August 7, 1972, 16-year-old Jeanette De Palma went missing from her hometown of Springfield, New Jersey. Despite an extensive search and investigation, her whereabouts remain unknown to this day. This is the story of the disappearance of Jeanette De Palma, a cold case that continues to haunt the community and her family. Let's take a step back in time to Springfield, New Jersey in 1972. The small town was buzzing with activity, and the residents were going about their daily lives. But on one summer evening, everything changed. Jeanette De Palma, a 16-year-old girl, went missing without a trace. Her family and friends were devastated, and the community was in shock. As the days passed, the search for Jeanette intensified, but there were no leads, no clues, and no sign of the missing girl. The case quickly turned cold, but her family and the community never gave up hope. To this day, the disappearance of Jeanette De Palma remains one of the most perplexing and mysterious cold cases in New Jersey's history. The Disappearance August 7, 1972, started out as a typical summer day for Jeanette De Palma. She spent the morning with her family, and then decided to go out with her friends in the afternoon. But as the day progressed, Jeanette failed to return home. Her family and friends searched for her, but she was nowhere to be found. As the hours passed, concern turned to panic. The police were called, and the search began. The initial investigation focused on the last known whereabouts of Jeanette. Her friends said that they last saw her in the afternoon, near her home. The police searched the area, but found no trace of the missing girl. The timeline of events leading up to Jeanette's disappearance is hazy. Her friends and family had different accounts of her activities that day. Some say she went to a nearby park, others say she went to a store. The lack of solid information made the investigation difficult. The police were working with limited information and a narrow window of time. The disappearance of Jeanette De Palma remains a mystery to this day. Her family and friends are still searching for answers, and the community is still in shock. The case is still open, and the police are still investigating. The timeline of events may be unclear, but one thing is certain, Jeanette De Palma went missing on August 7, 1972, and she has never been seen again. The Suspects and Theories as the investigation progressed, the police were faced with a difficult task. There were no witnesses, no leads, and no clues. The case quickly turned cold, but the police never gave up. They focused on the people of interest in the case, those who had contact with Jeanette in the days leading up to her disappearance. The possible motives for Jeanette's disappearance were many. Some believed that it was a random act of violence, while others thought that it was a case of a runaway. The police considered all possibilities, but none of them led to any solid evidence. As the years passed, the case became infamous in the community and it gave rise to many theories and speculations. Some people believed that Jeanette was abducted by a serial killer or a cult. Others thought that she was murdered by a family member or a friend. The most popular theories are that Jeanette was a victim of a crime or she ran away. But no evidence has been found to support any of these theories. The suspects and theories in the Jeanette De Palma case remain a mystery. The police have never been able to identify a suspect or determine a motive. The case remains open, and the police continue to investigate. The theories and speculations may be intriguing, but they are ultimately unproven, and the truth about what happened to Jeanette De Palma remains a mystery. The Current Status As the years passed, the case of Jeanette De Palma became a cold case. But the police never gave up on finding her. The case remains open and the investigation is ongoing. The current state of the investigation is focused on new technologies and advanced forensic techniques to re-examine the evidence. Recent developments have brought new hope to the case. 
In recent years, the police have received new leads and tips. They have also re-interviewed witnesses and reviewed the evidence with new technology. The police are determined to find out what happened to Jeanette De Palma and bring her home. The efforts to solve the case have been ongoing for decades. The police have never given up, and the community has never forgotten. The case has been featured on several true crime shows, and a website dedicated to the case has been created. The family and friends of Jeanette De Palma continue to search for answers and closure. The case of Jeanette De Palma remains one of the most perplexing and mysterious cold cases in New Jersey's history. The current status of the investigation is ongoing, and the police continue to search for answers. The family and friends of Jeanette De Palma are still hoping for a resolution, and the community is still in shock. The case is still open, and the police are still investigating. In conclusion, the story of Jeanette De Palma is a tragic reminder of the importance of never giving up on a case, no matter how cold it may seem. Cold cases are not just about solving a crime, they are about giving closure to the families and the community. They are about finding justice for the victims. The message to the public is clear, if you have any information about the case, no matter how insignificant it may seem, please contact the police. Every piece of information is valuable and can help solve the case. The case of Jeanette De Palma may be a cold case, but it is far from forgotten. The investigation is ongoing, and the police are still searching for answers. We urge the public to visit the dedicated website for the case and to contact the police with any information. Together, we can help solve this case and bring closure to the family and the community. We hope that this video has helped you to understand the story of Jeanette De Palma and the impact of her disappearance on the community. We also hope that it has reminded you of the importance of never giving up on a case and how your help can make a difference.